What's good, world? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are, and we're already up, out, and about. Well, already, but it's like 11, 13. <laughs> but, yeah, it feels like it's like 5 in the morning. So Long night last night. Yeah. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Black Friday. You hope know. you had some good family time. I hope you all had good family time. If anybody's out for Black Friday shopping, hope you're getting some good people watching time in. And maybe you caught some good deals. So... We're at the gym. Yes. We're about to go do our thing real quick. We haven't worked out in like three, four days. We like we worked out Tuesday, right? Yeah. So it's been a few days. Yeah. So it's time to work. get it, get it in, get it good, get it hard, and you'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll you'll see footage. We'll record some footage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring the tripod. Oh yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We'll record it. We'll be All right. We'll holler back. Wish us luck. Let's go wake up and get this going. All right. Let's go. Got the good Navy sweatshirt on and Navy PG shorts. Oh, damn. Shout We're out to UTC. Mocks. Go, Mocks. Old yeah. college, but it is freezing out here. That wind is what does it. Oh, that wind is what gets us. Real talk. So, because of. I don't know how to say it. Because people. Okay. So, you got to be a little cautious when you're vlogging and YouTubing because people will begin to stalk you. So because of that, we're not going to tell y'all where we work out because there's crazies out there. Like yeah. try to come hunt us down and stalk us. So anyway, our gym is amazing, by the way. Yes, it is. We'll tell you more about it. We just won't tell you where it's at. Because <laughs> y'all might try to stalk my booth. Hold on one second. It is a good gym, though. Thank you. So yeah. We get scanned in and everything. We're official. We're official. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not used. To, I'm not used to gyms like this. I'm used to just going and working out on base. And, yeah. Hey, you military. You see military ID. You walk in. Yeah. But like, yeah, when we first tried out this gym, like when we first came here, you know, I'm skeptical about civilian gyms anyway. When we walked in here. I, it was great. Like I was like, this is it. We can do this. We can definitely do this. We yeah. got everything like a Marine Corps base gym. Man, they got bumper plates. They got. TRX straps over here. They got kettlebells, so I'm good. Yeah, I like it. I like because they have childcare and true and classes and for classes, the kids. They yeah, have right. fitness classes for the kids. Yeah, so they have fit classes. Like Bailey can take. You probably can't hear us. Bailey can take a class, like a workout class. See, there's like a little baby in here who's clearly not 12. We're gonna start bringing our baby <laughs> in here. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yo, so. This really is the day after Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday and we're in the gym. And like, everybody in here is really extra today. So like, I don't know what it was, but as soon as like, me and the queen walked in and started doing our thing, like everybody decided they had to grab extra weight. We're about to get into a fight because these guys over here keep looking at my boo. So I'm giving them the eye light. Intimidation is a mug. It's okay though. See, the thing is though, we have to put in perspective, remember is that, okay, for one, I only weigh 190 pounds but I still lift like I weigh 240, so it's all good. But it's entertaining, so. Workout's done. Post-workout. Yeah, post-workout. <laughs> How you feel, baby? How was your workout? Um, it was, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it was hard, though, because I haven't been doing cardio, so I did some cardio, or well, we did cardio mm -hmm. today, and. Ooh, just gotta get back into the swing of things, but it's done, we got it done, I'm happy. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just hard-headed, because I always, like, and just start doing things I don't properly warm up yeah. and I, I need to I have to accept that my joints are at that point mm -hmm. so it's like I gotta warm up whether it be with cable something like just doing something because I can't just go in and start doing incline dumbbells of 100 pounds and mm -hmm. call that my warm up yeah. because my shoulders feel it so it affected me today so I could have pushed a whole lot more weight but my shoulders are like yeah no it's like stretching frozen Laffy Taffy yeah. So listen, learn. I mean, we're in good shape, but we're older. Mm -hmm. and we, I mean, even if we were younger, we still would need to take care of our bodies and stretch mm -hmm. more and warm definitely. up better. And definitely. So. And yes, we are in great shape. Don't get we that are, twisted. Yeah, we were in good shape. Yeah. yeah, we're in good shape. We're in better shape than most people our age mm -hmm. and some 20 year olds. Yeah, oh, definitely. We run in circles around 20 year olds. So we're about to go eat some good food real quick, though, because I am hungry. Yeah. It's 1240, so it's time to eat. We're going to eat, go do a little shopping, and go to the movies. Maybe catch a movies. Yep. Take mom to the movies. Mom's leaving tomorrow. 
Doesn't talk she look the, good? Talk to, thank you. Talk to the baby. Mm -hmm. He's in Indiana right now, so I talk FaceTime with him. Miss him so much. Yeah, we're used to having him in the back here with us at the gym. Talking. So. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Man, but let me tell you this right now. This woman's fine. She is beautiful. I love this. I can just watch her work out all day. I got so many can't. They're mine. I'm not sharing them, so avert your eyes. But my private collection of Marna working out and ooh, my baby, she is beautiful. I love it. She is so sexy, man. <sighs> anyway, I can stare at her all day and be content. So we're about to go. One love. Is it is it horrible? Hold on, wait a minute. Let me face it real quick. <laughs> it tastes just like some Walter's grape juice with carbonation in it. It's not good at all. Okay, so. Don't show them my place. We just worked out. Yeah, it's okay, but it's it's post workout meal time, <laughs> and it's time to chill for a second as we get ready for the day. And the best part about one of the best parts about Thanksgiving is all the leftover food that you can consume for the next ninety six hours, because there's that much. Plate, Oh. So like, why would you go work out and then have a plate full of Hey, when you work out like we do, this. man. Oh, watch out. Mm. Shoot, that's good stuff. Where you see my plate. Where you see my plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Left, two to the right. Left, right, left, right. My bad. All right, we're going to eat and chill out. So we had our good post-workout meal. Yes, man, man, we were hungry. And then, I like, you know what? Let me out, lady. Thank you. Aww. That was People very are nice to nice. you. Yo, why are we coming out in this mess? Man. You know what? The best part about it, though, honestly, I'm sorry, is people watching because we get to make fun of people that are like fighting over stuff. It would have been crazier, to, it would have been funnier to watch the craziness this morning at like 2, 3, 4 in the morning. I bet that would have been hilarious. Insane. I so. thought it was going to be died down by now. That's not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the madness has been getting earlier and earlier. The madness for Black Friday has been getting early. It used to be like, clock, you know, stores would roll back. They open up at zero five hundred. That was a that was a madness. Then it would back up to zero three hundred. You know, then it turned into midnight on Thanksgiving. Now it's rolling back to where it's like five five, five, five o'clock on Thanksgiving Day. Like, who wants to sit there and do a Black Friday? <gasps> oh, sorry. Can you get it? Sorry, no, it's handicapped. Oh, bogus. Oh, I would have backed up. I would have made right, the whole right, line right. back up. I would have gotten down and pushed them back. Push your back, push your back. I, I do fight cars. Push your back, push your back. Man, that's a cheerleading thing. We should have parked on the other side of the mall and worked our way through. Well, anywho, we got up, got cleaned up real quick, threw on some good clothes, and we out bringing mama out. And they're out the house. I'm trying to wait and see where these people are. So, I'm going to ask them, where y'all parked at? Where'd they go? Where y'all parked? Over here? No, the next lane? Yeah. Oh, you tricked me! Sorry. <laughs> you got me! I love my woman. <laughs> and we got cleaned up, got dressed up real quick, bringing mama out. We're actually gonna look for a dress for mama. You know, casually look for a dress for mama as the mother of the bride for who the wedding. Married? Man, mm -hmm. who is getting married? Look at that. Look, look at God. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Say, won't he do mm -hmm. Look at this. We got a parking spot. Man. Won't he do it? Yeah. And then we're going to catch a good movie at 6 o'clock. So, yes. man. That means our, we our, only got an hour yeah. and a half to find a dress. It, I mean, if we don't find one today, that's fine. But. Yeah, but anywho. But look at these beautiful women. Look, look at this beautiful woman. Look at this beautiful creature. The most beautiful woman in the world. Produced by hey. lovely mama. My beautiful mother-in-law. That's my dukes. Yes. All right. We're going to face the madness. We'll touch base later. So what say you? So. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say that. Okay. So okay. we are here waiting shopping. I have a question for you. When you are picking out dresses for family, bridesmaids, whatever, opinion matters to the person wearing the dress or the bride. What say you? I say, you know what, what I want you to wear, you're going to like it. And you don't, you know, well, thank you. Oh, look at and and. Uh-uh, uh-uh, come uh -uh. out, uh-uh, mama, mama, uh-uh. So mama tried on the dress that... Marna asked her to wear that mama didn't like but she looks amazing in it and I don't know if we'll get a shot or not <laughs> so we're shopping for mama dress right 
just me, mom, and the fiance. And um, this is what you have, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All the coats and the purses. How do you feel? What say you, sir? What say you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why don't I just turn the camera around? What say you, babe? I feel like the man. You do I such a like good job. This is what men do for their women when we're in a mall. And they're trying on dresses and the like. <laughs> Yo, that was hilarious. All right, we're gonna go in here and find mama. Trying no dresses. Where are you, Ma? Where are you, Mama? Oh, ooh, hold up. Let me turn the camera off. Y'all can be looking at all the six and Hi, Ma. Hi. So. Wedding shopping done, son. Yeah, we almost had to. There was a, um, a, a dress that we saw in the Macy's here in Gurney that we were like, ooh, we like this, but didn't have the size. So we had them look up where we could find the size at. So we, we were going to go to this good movie and then take a journey down to Northbrook after the movie. But we stopped in the mall, came in here to a store here inside the mall, and mom's done found the dress that she likes, that looks good, and I think we set. So now we're getting ready to go hit up this good movie real quick and chill out. Mission accomplished. Yes. Oh, I should have told her to rip this for me. Yes. Got my dress together, got my yep. fitting on Monday, my second fitting on Monday. Yeah. Mama's dress, got the boys tucks, well the guys tucks. Yeah. Wedding planning yep. is a go. Yeah, and my best man is getting fitted this weekend also, so whew, yep. moving along, moving along. Moving along, along. Shada, we just gotta pay this money for this good reception. Yes. Whew. Anybody wanna donate to our <laughs> wedding fund? Contact just us directly. Send us a just message. Send us a message. We just need about <laughs> We just need somebody to donate about five thousand dollars. We have we have the rest. Mm. So if you love us, send us a check. That's M A R N A. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. We about to go chill. Oh, the uh, oh, the movie theater is back that way though too. Oh, we can oh, drive. We can right? yeah, but we can drive around to the front of the theater. Make it we easier. gotta put her. Dress yeah, put in her the dress in the car and stuff anyway. So we'll holler back later. One love, deuces. Bye, say bye, mom. Bye. So why is this car having such a hard time parking that they put on the hazard lights wow. to help them park? That is like, so funny. They just and they struggling. And they, I'm, I'm Wait a minute. They going back out again. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. Oh. Wow, the struggle must be very real. And what kind of car is that? It's like a Hyundai. It's, it's a very small car. It's a Hyundai Sonata. Elantra. Oh. Let me see. It's probably a teenager driving. It's still crooked. Oh man! <laughs> oh heavenly Father, bless the child. Okay, we just left seeing the movie Almost Christmas, the one with Danny Glover, Monique's in it, Omar Epps is in it, everybody named Mamas is in it. It's good. It's like you know, what I'm saying if you go to like the Rotten Tomatoes reviews, you know it doesn't get that good of reviews, whatever the case may be. But you know what? That was a good movie. When you talk. When it you, was funny yeah. and emotional. I'm sorry. To no, go ahead. Please, baby, go ahead. I can't think it was it. funny, it was emotional. Oh. You will laugh, you will cry. It was good. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. What'd you think, Ma? It was an awesome movie. It really was beautiful. I'm going to sit and watch it again. <laughs> She's all bundled up. Because okay. it's cold, y'all. It's like 20 degrees. Man. What'd you think? Oh. Bug. They already know. And y'all, man, if y'all know me at all, <laughs> I'm just emotional. I'm done right now. I'm done. Aww. That movie was the best blend of like there was hu the humor, but the, like the essence of family and the things like I was done from the beginning. And not to talk about too much about the movie, but like just the the bond of a of a husband and a wife and like mm -hmm. trying to live again without someone. And no, I can't do that. But anyway, there's a there's another part of the movie that just like it it. You'll see. Yo, yeah. You know what, and and y'all gonna see coming up real soon. We're gonna have to have a sit down. We have to have a have a um a talk. A couch conversation. Yeah, we have to have a couch conversation. We're gonna we're gonna have to tell like our story. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to tell y'all yeah. about us. And like this movie, just I'm done. Uh, I, it was a part of the movie that just reminded me of her, and I almost walked out the theater. So I'm like, <laughs> how?
How they telling our story right now in this movie? How they talking about us right now in this movie? And I almost got up and walked out because I couldn't take it. Yeah, I'm just too emotional right now. But it was a very, very good movie. Put this back on. And everybody's cold right now. It's cold. It's cold right now. I don't know what time is it? It's 8:30 at night and it's cold. It's freezing. Yeah, but I, I just had. We wait for the car to warm up a little bit. Just had to do this real quick because I'm, I'm trying to keep it together. I'm trying to keep it together. You good, baby. To. Mama was yeah. consoling both of us. She yeah, was like holding she... our hand and rubbing us. Oh my goodness, like for real. She had yeah. to. Yeah, so. Oh, okay, that's it. We're heading home. It's nice and warm. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So we're it, heading it's home. It's a sweet potato. I'm just gonna make some yams. I'm just gonna make some yams for the for the king right here. Oh, because I'm a yam fanatic. Yeah. I love. I love this woman more than anyone could ever possibly imagine. Y'all have no idea. Never will. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna sit there and have a book. I'm gonna have a confession. Oh my goodness. I just love her. We'll get you up when we get home. All right, y'all, that's gonna be our closeout video for the night. We got a lot to recap real quick before we close up. So, you know, y'all just saw us, well, me, getting all emotional and telling y'all about that good movie we just watched. But y'all missed out on everything that happened before the movie started. From the moment we walked into the theater and then made our way, got to get some concessions and then before we get to the actual theater. So, baby, go ahead. Are you gonna eat something? Yeah, okay, well, first of all, <laughs> Rice is ready. That's not a fire alarm. That's not a fire alarm. Rice. That's <laughs> rice because we're going to eat some gumbo before we go to bed. Because we're hungry. And we're so what happens when you're married to a Creole man? You eat gumbo. Okay. So we, we got in line for concessions, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm really, I'm, for one, obviously I'm overprotective. Uh, two, um, like, uh, I'm really big about just manners. So, yeah. like, if people need to be educated, I have no problem educating them. I've always done that. So I will let you know. Especially if someone doesn't say excuse me. Now, if someone's going to be disrespectful to my woman, they especially going they're going to catch something. Whether it be these hands, these words, they're going to catch something. So there's this couple, and we're trying to figure it out ourselves, though. So we have a, a weird thought about it, weird feeling about it a little bit. Mark brought it up, and it makes sense. But like we're getting ready to get in line, and there's this couple. We go ahead and say what the so is it? No. Okay, cool. It doesn't matter. There's a couple in front of us, right? And they had this little girl, and she was grabbing candy, getting ready to get in candy, and getting ready to check out, right? You know, and Marna loves babies, obviously, because mm -hmm. eventually we're going to have a baby. Real soon. Real soon. But I'm not pregnant right now. No, she's not. Anywho, and so Marna's always talking babies are taken to her. So she's talking to the baby, the mama's smiling, blah, 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 blah. Okay, everything's all good. The baby takes the candy to the dad who's standing in front of Marna in line. I'm right behind Marna like this. <laughs> and so this guy's, and all of a sudden he starts getting real loud because the his wife then went by the town <laughs> say thing. He's like, hey, honey. So blah, 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 blah. Mind you, he's like right here. And right, right. I'm sitting there like, like whoa. Like, I okay. thought it was hilarious. I, I, thought, I was laughing, cracking up. Yeah, that, I, was, I thought that was funny. I'm like, okay, because I'd be loud. I'd do the same thing. Yeah. I don't care. I'm bold. I'm going to be loud regardless. But then. He did this. Marna, mind you, standing right here. There's a little candy rack, like right here, right? So he's like this. He's standing up, he's like right here at the checkout thing, right? And he's like, oh, I need something else. Like, bump me like total, like, And so my initial gut reaction is, do you, uh, do you, uh, do you get ready to let the man know, like, uh, excuse you, right. like, hello, use, you know, use you your don't, words, use say your words, excuse say excuse me. me. And I'm, I was about to let him know, my baby me work on me a little bit and she's like baby honey it's like you and mom are just you know it's like because we loud and like and I don't mean to always try to start things but I'm just really big about respect you know what I'm saying give respect get respect and I know that if it was me in his shoes I'd definitely be like oh excuse me pardon me do you mind if I get something like yeah. and people need to be educated sometimes so that that had me on 100 then all of a sudden as we're trying to get our stuff this lady at the checkout was like, from the jump, she's like, mad, mad at help the world, you, mad at the world, mad at her like, job, was hating life, and excuse me, I'm sorry, angry at the world. She was mad. I mean, 
I don't know if it was her bad weave or her lashes that were coming off or what, but she was just pissed that she's working on Black Friday. So from the jump, she had an attitude. So I'm at the counter. You gonna ask me to take my order or you just gonna sit there? Customer service mistake number one. Then she went, she I- went to real quick. She's trying to control me. Next thing you know, she's getting livid. I'm over here like, hmm. It's about to go down. It was just rude. Like, you know, I was asking her about the rewards thing. I'm building out rewards, final off. Yeah. So I was like trying to hand it to her and she was just looking at me, not extending her hand, not. And so my man was like, baby, no, you know, just give her the number, the phone number. So she looked up, took her forever to type in a number. I don't know what this uh, was. We'll blur back, we'll blur the bitch. Uh, so she brings up the order and they're just mad at the world. Just mad attitude so the order is done i see her swipe my card blah, 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 blah. the receipt comes out of the little machine i don't work there i said is this my receipt you just you, are you going to give me my receipt because mm -hmm. you're just standing there looking at us like i'm going to take y'all stuff and no leave. thank you have a nice day no the order is complete no can i get you anything else no she basically was looking at me like <laughs> take your own stuff with you. At this point, I'm filming. So I grab all the, we grab all the stuff and we walk off. Now, when I walked off, I know there was some popcorn it drizzled on the floor, but I saw some popcorn. So I'm walking off getting my mama a bottle of water and my baby said, did she just throw that popcorn? Yo. Did she just throw that popcorn at you? And I'm so, like, no, because, mm-mm. Okay. The, the, the popcorn she put popcorn as, as popcorn we walked, as walked, away. walked away. So this is so <laughs> as we're turning because Marta turned first and she had to go grab a bottle of water from Mama, and I see a piece of popcorn that fell out of the tray, it fell on the counter, and mind y'all, so I'm like whatever. So I turn around and so I kind of I stopped short because Marta was like grabbing the water and we're gonna go to Mama. All of a sudden, like so, mind you, now we're like three or four feet away from the counter. Next thing I know, I see a piece of popcorn like fly past my feet, and I'm sitting there like, did she just? <laughs> Baby, I was like, baby, I was like, baby, baby. She's like, huh? I was like, did she just flick popcorn at us? I instantaneously turned around and walked to the counter like, I was like, no, uh, surely she didn't. She was just did brushing she, off the counter. She was like, oh no, I was just brushing it off the counter. No. We were three, four feet away. That if you just brush like, something off the counter, if you just brush, so for one, Another customer service would say, if you're going to brush something off the counter, why are you going to brush it towards your customers? Brush it brush behind it back the, counter. the counter. Call it a day. Now, if you just, still, if you just brush something off the counter, it's going to doo -doo, fall straight down, right? <laughs> Maybe you talk about physics and gravity and velocity and all that stuff and vehicles, yeah. whatever, something, whatever. I, I, Stop anyway. Okay. Stop. We're about three feet away. This piece of popcorn came flying past my feet. Like with some velocity. She like, so she flicked that ish off the counter at us as we were walking away. Man, I'm telling you something. I was livid. Look, okay, at first I wasn't because I was like, surely she did. And I was like, no, it's probably the popcorn that fell from the popcorn I was holding. And my baby was like, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then she instantly, instantly, she was like, no, I was just brushing the popcorn off the counter. And so right then and there, I knew. That somebody done told you wrong. At this point, I'm livid, right? I'm, I'm fuming, but I'm working on me because, I mean, I'll tell you I a story, won't. but I have a past, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Google me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a past, and I, I'm just now getting to the point to where I can just let people have their stuff and they deal with their own stuff, and it has nothing to do with me. Like your bad day has nothing. Still, I'm worked up about little buddy, like you know what I'm saying, disrespecting her. 
come to find out, Mama was off to the side. She saw it too. She yeah. was like, she wanted to intervene. So like, I wanted to make sure she didn't look at me and say like, well, Eddie, why aren't you doing something about it? And I'm sort of like, believe me, Mama, I'm feeling it too. And like, you know what? I ain't biting my tongue no more. Okay. My baby may get a little bit upset. I'll make sure I'm not going to endanger my family. First and foremost, I will not yeah. endanger my family. But if someone is disrespectful, they're going to learn respect real quick. <laughs> Period. You know, my baby's concern is always like, I don't, she doesn't want us and definitely me because I can be very hot headed. Things set me off really quick and I don't want to endanger my family by putting us all in a situation to where I'm challenging somebody for being disrespectful and they have the potential to cause harm to my family. But at the same time, in a, in a, I can in a very respectful way, but a very abrasive, not abrasive, hmm, what word should I use? I mean, he's a assertive. very assertive. Yeah. I mean, in a very assertive way. Excuse me. That's you. okay. You know, please mind your manners, because I would do the same to you. Right. You know, so it's, it was just a, it was a, it was a difficult experience for me because I know my past and I know his past. I know like what we are striving for and the goals we have in life, like morally and for our character. And I know spiritually, you know, that's what we're trying to attain and get to that level. And it's like, whew. But as soon as we sat down and watched that good movie, though, everything changed. Yeah, like, I almost forgot all that stuff happened. Yeah. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. But, uh, we're going to have to definitely leave out all of the words. Yeah. So, yeah. There's going to be some editing. We'll do like a, yeah, movie or something. We're going to have to anyway. edit me, so, anyway. We rambling, y'all. We had 10 minutes. It took us 10 minutes to tell Ooh, that story. Geez, so, did it? Yeah. Okay, my bad. So, Anywho, this is it for the night because we're going to eat something good and chill out, cuddle, because there are some moments in that movie that I'm going to think about my baby, especially yeah. how much she means to me and has meant to me and been on my heart for the last 23 years. Oh, but anywho, because we got to get to bed because we got to early in the take morning. Mom we got to take mom to the airport at like 530 in the morning because yeah. her flight's at 8 and we got to drive to Midway. So we're not going to O'Hare. We're going to have at least an hour drive down there. So. Y'all see my sweater though before we end? Look at my sweater. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? I got it from H&M. Yeah, we had a good day at H&M that day, so. It's like a little yummy. I think it's dope. Anyway. I should have did an outfit of the day. Anyway, all right. We, we got a lot of editing. This 11 minutes. Gotta go. Sign is on. More fields out. On the vlog. What? The kissing. The kissing is the closing. The kissing. The kiss is the close. The kissing.